In this tutorial, we're going to look at getting started with building apps for Leandra Cloud Server. When you install the Leandra App Builder, it includes demo web apps illustrating some of the Leandra Cloud Server and Leandra Web Client functionality. So let's open them up and take a closer look. The Leandra Tablet Web UI demo, called Example Web App, is, as its tile description suggests, designed for tablet use. It has automatically stacked accordion sections accessed from the navigation panel. For detailed information on how to set these up, please see the Leandra video for Example Tablet UI. Toggling between development and runtime view in the Leandra App Builder allows me to see how the app will appear in the desktop Leandra App Center. To see how it will appear in the Leandra Web Client, I open the Web App view. The Web App view has two roles. Firstly, it allows me to test my app and see how it will look. And secondly, when I click the Save or Preview buttons, the code for the Leandra Web Client version of the app is generated and saved. To use the Preview facility, I need to have the Leandra Cloud Server installed and clicking the button will fire up the app in my default browser. We'll see that later. The other buttons in the Web App view give me access to the app settings, start the web inspector, allow me to switch to the apps or pages workspaces, and refresh the web app view after changes. Let's have a quick look at another app, example web app 2. It has a web view gadget, a left sidebar with favorites, recently viewed and modified, and instant selections, along with a right sidebar with custom gadgets and reports. You can see how to build these in the Leandra App Builder Getting Started videos and online guides. As before, I use the Web App view to see how the app will look and click Save to generate the Leandra Web Client code. The two example web apps that we have just seen are already deployed to your local Leandra Cloud Server web route. So once you have the Leandra Cloud Server installed, you can try them out. When you create your own apps, make sure they are enabled for the web client in the app settings and that you have deployed any required library scripts and your data if you're not using the Southwind sample data. We'll see that in a moment. I've installed the Leandra Cloud Server and it is currently running with a Leandra APAS developer license you may be running with the Trial Evaluation License. The OData Read and Update services are enabled. The Leandra server is listening for HTTP requests on port 80 as well as default port 8001. These are the default settings after installation. Port 80 can be disabled if you already have a web server using this port. Back in the Web App view, clicking Preview fires up the app in my default browser. You can also just enter the address in your browser. The URL is HTTP, localhost, apps, the name of the app, then index.html. For port 8001, just specify the port number in the URL and for remote access, specify the server's IP address or hostname. Now let's look at a simple app I've built. It's called My App, uses the MyDB database and has two pages. The report page is based on an RSP script from the library and has a custom section menu with a JavaScript delegate local to the app. The Customers page has a similar custom section menu with a JavaScript delegate and a right sidebar with content gadgets calling RSP and PRG scripts. I can see all those in the app's workspace. So I click on the Web App View button as usual. And OK, I've got a message here prompting me to change the app settings to enable the app for the web. So go into the app settings, 
scroll down right to the bottom and check web to include the app in the web client. Another web app view comes up. If I fire up an explorer window for my web deployment folder, this is the default location here, I can see what happens when I click the save button. So I have a new folder, my app, the name of the app, and it contains the index.html file that's been generated and copies of my JavaScript delegate libraries. Before I can run the app with preview or straight from a browser, I need to deploy my database, my app, and my library script. Close the app before accessing the deploy workspace. So I'll make sure that the deployment settings are correct, then check the boxes for my DB database, my app, app, and the library RSP report page I'm using. Then click Preview Changes, then Commit Changes. So back in my app with the web app view open, and now if I click Preview, I can see the app running in my default browser, or I can fire up another browser session to access the app.